Hello everyone, my name is Ellery, and I'm here with Melanin NYC and today we're talking about sisterhood and its healing powers. I don't have any sisters around my age. I got my first sister when I was 11 years old. She's 8 years old now and I'm 21, so big age difference. I grew up around all guys. I don't have any female cousins, only brothers, most of my life. So. I think it was pretty harsh growing up like that, you know? And my mom, she was a tomboy. She didn't want me to be a little girly girl, so it's kind of taking me out of my element. But fast forward to, let's say 2014, I just got in contact with so many great women who are so creative and so talented and who've just been very supportive of me. And I wouldn't be venturing out and following my dreams without them, to be honest. So real in 2016, it's like, you can just feel it in the air nowadays. Like, I remember growing up and everyone's automatically pitting us against each other and saying, you know, girls are catty. Girls are always getting into something with yourself, with each other. And that's something that's like pushed into our minds from when we're little. And it's ridiculous because now I'm like going around like, hey, I think you're beautiful. I love your shoes. I love this about you. And getting smiles and laughter and then great conversation with just random women that I've never met before. And it's just time to retire the whole, you know, women are against each other all the time because we're not. But for me as an artist and as a soon-to-be entrepreneur, um, Sisterhood has really helped me because if I didn't have the encouragement and the support from people who think like me and people who want to see what I want to see in the world, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even have met you really. <laughs> But yeah, it's just giving me a new type of confidence. You're getting dressed in the morning and you have to look in the mirror to, you know, see your outfit, make yes. everything's okay. You want to see your reflection. You want to know what you look like. And that's the same thing with me surrounding myself with people like me. Like, I need to see my reflection so that I can stay on point. So it was very important to me to know people like me. Conversation was so good that I had to run, like literally run behind, like in front of camera because I'm like, I have to join this. And it's just like a continuation of previous, the, the last shoot where we were talking about identity and sisterhood. And as soon as she said, you know, these people are a reflection of me, I was like, I gotta join this. <laughs> I gotta join this. Um, sisterhood is the entire reason behind Melanin NYC's brand. So of course, melanin by itself is filled with everyone, men, women, LGBTQIA. Um, but just being a part of a sisterhood itself is something that's beautiful and it's amazing. And there's so much knowledge to gain from meeting other people and just people hit me up and they're like, oh my God, I see what you guys are doing. I think you should hit up uh, Ella Reese. And I'm like, okay, cool, I'm gonna hit her up. And it's just all about building that network and finding people who, number one, like she said, that you relate to. Exactly, like having a type of relation, like just being able to find yourself or a part of yourself in someone else is so important because I feel like, you know, when we're little, we wander around so much thinking, wow, no one's like me, no one thinks like me, no one oh likes God. what I like, and you feel so out of place. And just to have strong, beautiful black woman look at me and say, hey, I'm a reflection of you. Yep, just like that. There's nothing. That has been the single most thing to empower me. Like for someone who I think is amazing to tell me that I'm amazing, it's like, why are you even talking to me? Like, what did I do to yeah. be blessed by your presence? No, right seriously. Now? I feel so blessed to have her here. Anytime we interview anyone or we have these conversations, I'm just like, oh my God, this person is amazing. I can't think that, I didn't think that I would ever be sitting in a room with the people that I've been sitting in rooms with while we're out right now. <laughs> um, sitting with the people that I was sitting with. Previously, I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a channel. We're gonna sit in the damn room. It's gonna be like girlfriends. We're gonna sit in the room and we're gonna have a conversation. But it's become so much bigger than that. And there's been people who, like Alarise, who are like, okay, look, we need to talk about sisterhood. Right. This is a sisterhood. We need to talk about how to maintain a sisterhood, how to start a sisterhood, and the process of just being somebody's sister and what that obligation is. And also how to empower each other as individuals, even though we are a sisterhood. Like, don't think that you have to lose yourself Absolutely to not. be with someone else. That's That should never be the case, you know? So just being with people who just love me for being me and support me as me is so important. And I just, you know, I want to do that for other people as well.
it's 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 always going to be this reoccurring concept when we have these conversations and the concept is that if you need the hand i'm supposed to be the hand right. you're not supposed to be like oh i can't talk to this person because they think they're better than me and i've had people talk to me before and be like oh my god you think you're so much better than people and i'm like that's when true. i'm like when wow, I, I hang like, out with, like, if you guys know me you know i could be in the projects i could be in the, in the in the palace like it doesn't matter where i'm at i'm gonna be there and i'm going to and just be yourself be myself there. and be who um not who others need me to be but who i am so that others can benefit from that right and so starting a sisterhood has been the most complicated project and i had to even hit up some of our previous members and be like look this is where i messed up as your sister this is where i need to apologize as your sister because my communication wasn't good because i wasn't good because i wasn't being who i needed to be for myself i couldn't be who i needed to be for you as a leader and as a partner so it's definitely about communication and me and me and ella have said sat here behind camera and been like look i am not a good communicator i don't do this well this shit is not for me <laughs> and um just owning that, understanding right. where you are and meeting yourself there and saying, okay, this is where, I am, where I'm at, this is where I need to be. And I said this in the previous shoot that I've done this week, but just, okay, this is where I'm at. This is where I wanna see myself. How can I do this so that I can move like this with my sisters? Jasmine wants to talk about, um, and we'll talk about it in another week or so, how easy it is for us to cut each other off. Oh God. And I am the, and Jasmine will be like, you know, it's really easy for some people to cut people off, mm -hmm. side eye a chef. But I really, <laughs> I really have been like that so long. And like Ella was saying, you know, we grew up, oh, women are catty. Women are catty, you know? Women are selfish. You guys are always competing each other, competing against each other. Come on, yeah. When it's like, we can sit here and love each other. This is my first time meeting Siobhan. And I love her. I think she's beautiful, and she's it's, amazing. It's, it's genuine, it's a genuine love that I have. Right, and it's like the same way I'm doing this to her. I see women in public and it's just like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. And just this, to see so them open simple. up. It's so simple. Like, you know how we have like, you know, that resting face, everyone thinks we're all mean and everything. But I'll see girls like that like, hey, how are you today? I think you're lovely. And the way we open up and just enjoy each other's presence is amazing. And it, it's it's so crazy because sometimes you'll get into a compliment war with somebody, but it's all in love. It's I, like, oh my god, I love your shoes, sis. And then you have to keep going. Back I love your and eyebrows, forth, sis. Like, How'd you do your eyebrows, like, sis? Like no, 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 no. But I love your hair. But your lips, sis. Okay. What are all your? Look, like, people are buying your lips, necklace, sis. Though. Yeah. And then it, it's like I have to get the last compliment. Like you're not gonna go without me getting the last compliment. And then it's like, sis, but your shoe, <laughs> but that shoe you got on over there, but the way that you put that sweater on over. Sure. And I see the way your ear is bent, <laughs> and it's like you get down to like the nitty gritty detail, somebody, and it's like you're walking, like you guys are so far apart, but the compliments are still going, still going. But that's sisterhood, that's right. that love, and and people always ask like, oh, you're from Queens, but why are you in Brooklyn all the time? Why are you in Har Harlem all the time? But the culture is here, mm -hmm. the love is here, and I, it's it's melanin NYC. The love is everywhere, but as it's 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 so easy when you're in that environment to do so there's sometimes when you're out and you're like oh my gosh sis, i love your blah 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 and you're and people are looking at you like i'm not your sis that's true but you are <laughs> but you are so it's like um going through that and i've had moments where people have said the most outlandish things to me and i had to remind myself like okay this person is a reflection of me right. this is my sister every reality show um, that has black women tries to show us in the most derogatory light of us always fighting and blast being thrown and whose husband broke and whose husband drive what like first of all we're too young to even care about nobody has a husband so we're not even thinking about those areas but just saying that to say melanin nyc the sisterhood it, it's always going to be a sisterhood it doesn't matter if it's two sisters three sisters a million sisters we're going to be the sisterhood it's important that we know and understand and each other. Yeah, each other. And, and understand, you know, the good parts, yes, but also try to understand the negatives. Yeah. Like, you know, the way you said, sometimes people will look at you like, I'm not your sis. You know, they completely reject what you're trying to get, but as a reflection of you, it's just like, you know what? That's a part of me that I can improve. Yeah. Because I'm like that sometimes. Sometimes I have an attitude when, you know, unnecessarily. And Same. I see that in you, and now I can work on it in me. Yeah.
And it's important, like I was saying, my friend, my friend, I have somehow miraculously, because I have always been that sharp tongue friend that just says whatever. I'm a Taurus, so it just it just comes sometimes. And I'll be like, Ooh, okay, well sis, I'm so sorry. And it's what I really meant. So being that somebody who's so sharp with their mouth, I've learned to really not hold back, but be constructively criticizing somebody and learn how to give advice so that they can benefit. Yeah, sisterhood, it's all about, you know, helping each other out so that we can all grow, making a space for ourselves. Everyone, you know, all over the media, is trying, everyone's trying to convince us that there's only room for like three of us to sing and like two of us oh, to yes. dance. And I'm telling you guys, there's more than enough room as long as we support each other. Absolutely. It's like you look at uh, like top singers, it's like, okay, Beyonce, okay, rapper, Nicki Minaj. And there's not, we don't break down into those and categories and, and realize how many of us there are. Right. It's just that we can have more than one. We deserve more than one. Everyone deserves their shot. There's so many flavors in this um, rainbow of cocoa, chocolate, love that we can always there's always someone mm -hmm. that can fill the need and can give you the service that you need within ourselves right. so it's it's amazing i'm excited i'm always excited but um it's all love and i can't wait to meet more women and create that i can't wait for you guys to see the other women that we meet because this is all an archive as i constantly say of our growth within each other and within ourselves so you may see some people more than once you may see some people a million times you see me all the time but we just want you to understand that there's so many different people Elarice is an entrepreneur she's a model and she's multi-dimensional and we as black women are continually multi-dimensional and we have don't been let so anybody tell years. you that you only have to do one thing my entire life Everyone in my family has told me, Tiara, you have too much on your plate. And I can say today that I threw it back in their face. Like, I had so much on my plate and I ate it all. Like, I got it. I can handle Absolutely. this. I can be everything that I want to be. Don't let anyone constrict you to one thing because it gets boring like that. As an artist, you can't. Being in one thing just doesn't exist. It doesn't. Because sometimes you experience a roadblock with one thing. You know what? At least I have this other thing to you do. You have today. your hands like, everywhere. You You're know constantly what? Working. I don't feel like modeling right now. Let me take a couple months off and, you know, work more on my business. I don't want to do this right now. Let me go paint, you know? Absolutely. And that's important to me. It makes me feel great. <laughs>